I stopped at a garage and um, to put some petrol in, and this little poor, poor thing just fell out of the bumper and landed in front of me. If you look at this, it's got a beautiful olivey, greeny, brown, wonderful orangey. Oh, there's just so many colours in that plumage. And that's what I try and incorporate into my work. I remember at school, the first time I ever got the cane at school, because obviously I was at a school where there was um, corporal punishment. I was regularly getting the cane. And I remember I looked up at this oak tree and I saw a blackbird and I must have been about, I wasn't, I was either 10 or 11. I saw this blackbird singing and it just took off and that image, it just took off. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to sing and I wanted to take off. Obviously I was feeling very miserable at the time. I will never forget that image and that's what I wanted to be. I'm afraid to say I was one of those horrific little bastards that collected eggs and um, they just fascinate. Eggs would just, anyway, obviously uh, I don't do, uh, you know, I mean, I, I have a, I carry a great deal of guilt around that, but what I did do, and I know this doesn't justify it, I would always take the eggs at the very beginning of the first clutch, which means that the female would always lay another clutch. I would never take, uh, um, this isn't justifying egg collecting, but I thought I was very conscientious. And as a result of, um, you know, collecting eggs, I learned a hell of a lot more about birds. So what I'm gonna do now briefly is just very quickly engrave part of this breast and just give you a run through of how the palest color builds up to the, to the orange of the red breast, of the, of the breast. And it's not just one or two colors, it's quite a few, but I can do it quite quickly. Shall I go ahead with that? I get far more bored by people a lot quicker than I do animals. And I know that's, um, that sounds a bit, it does sound a bit weird. I'm not, well, I am a little bit weird, but I'm not that weird. But I can identify, I seem to identify with birds and animals a lot easier than I do with people. It's not everyone's cup of tea and I don't expect it to be. You know, if you like nature and you like detail, perhaps, you know, you might be drawn to it. But um, I just kept doing what I was doing because I, I loved doing it. I, I did it for, the, for my sanity, really. It took me a long time to actually discover who I was anyway. I mean, I had no idea. I thought what happened to me happened to every kid. I just thought, you know, get on with it, do it, blah, blah, blah. It's only when I came up with situations that were entirely new to me, like falling in love, meeting your first girlfriend, that that's when I, um, that's when I had the difficulties. But looking back, would I change anything? because it's where I, you know, it's where I am. I always wanted to be a fighter pilot because I always wanted to fly. I'm not a fighter pilot. If I was a fighter pilot, I wouldn't be painting. So I am where I am and I do what I do because of what happened to me as a child. So no, I wouldn't change anything. I have a few regrets. I blew some really good chances in the, in the 80s to go really forward with my art, but because I was more interested in drinking and taking drugs, it never happened. So, um, but I'm, I'm a great believer in whatever happens is meant to happen. And uh, I'm here where I am today and I'm just doing the best I can. And I believe all that experience adds to what I put into my work now. Well, there you go, just the vermilion to bring out the barrel, well, the wonderful, the wonderful, um, translucent to orange of the, of, of, the, of the roundness of the robin's breast. I think that was a total of 13, 13 colours to make up what looks like most people to be one. When you look at a robin, you think, well, one colour. It's not, it's much more than that. I'm learning all the time. I mean, obviously, the medium I use has limits, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm finding ways around it. I mean, and if I can achieve a level of satisfaction that just about makes it okay for me, that's okay. If it's not, it goes in the bin. But I know every single piece of work I do and it's finished, I can do better than that. And that's where I am. Every time I do it, I think, well, it's, to me, it's not good enough and I'll try and get it in the next one. And that's what I keep doing and keep doing. If I can't paint, I have to go into some other obsession. I have to practice an obsession. And I happen to be very good at the obsession of painting.